Hello, hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to um, do an injection of what's called Doladex, which is the brand name, and the active ingredient is basically GNRH. I've just taken off the safety grid, which was here, and the cap from the needle. And you can tell how large the needle is if you compare it with my finger. Um, it has to be this big because otherwise you can't put push the implantable thing out. And so basically I've already disinfected the area um, where I'm going to inject this thing. And uh, it's best to choose a place where it has a lot of fat because you have to inject it inside the fat. And the more fat you have, the less painful it is. Um, and for a self-injection, the abdomen is like the best place to do it. Um, so I'm going to just take a whole bunch of fat here. And put the, the needle in. What we want to do is to keep the needle inside the fat. Um, so when you stick, it hurts a little. But when it's pushing inside the fat, it usually doesn't... I mean, it's just passing through tissue that doesn't have any nerve. So it doesn't hurt at all. And we want to make sure that the needle is inside the fat. And then we just uh, push this thing, um, the syringe. Okay. And it just self-retracts, so it's completely safe. I mean, this has to go to a safe place. But um, like, what I like to do is to just, given that it's my own, I just put the cap back in just to be like extra safe, I guess. And ta-da, that was, that was just it. And sometimes it bleeds a little because it actually, yeah, it should get some alcohol wipes. Um, anyway, that was it. Hope uh, this was useful. <laughs> And, um, it's just an injection, and it doesn't really hurt. I mean, you saw me hesitating when I was, like, trying to put the needle in myself. It's a little scary sometimes, but it's just, uh, just the getting over yourself part. And then the rest, it's just, like, any, it, it barely hurts. And in, inside the tissue, as I already mentioned, it doesn't hurt at all. So... Um, if you ever have to do this because of a breast cancer or because you're getting chemo, um, then just, yeah, it's not that big a deal.